Hi all, in this video we are discussing about OpenHRMS Employee Document Management. OpenHRMS is a open source HR management software which helps to create happier workspace for employees. And it is suitable for both large scale and small scale enterprises. It is packed with advanced features to manage and act as a solution to run all the HR management operations in your company. So in this video, Let's look on the feature of Employee Document Management, which helps for a better document management in your organization. In each organization, the employee documents was a necessary information and which must be saved and used accordingly. So, Employee Documents Management is a useful tool that helps to store and manage employee related documents such as the certificates, passport, license, etc. So, let's look on that feature. For that feature, first we need to for that feature, first we need to be install the employee document management module. So let's for that let's go to the order app store. So in the app store, let's install the employee document management module that is OpenHRMS employee documents, which has a technical name of OH employee documents expiry. So currently in my database, I already installed this module. If we want to get this feature, you need to be install this one. Once we install this module, you would be able to access this feature. For that, let's go to the employees module. So inside the employees module, under the configuration, you can see a menu, employee document types. So while we open this menu, we can see a tree view, which shows the name, some names of document types. So at here we can create that whatever the document type that we need in your organization. So currently, which is a uh, driving license, passport and ID card is shown at here. And I am also adding one thing that is about Aadhaar. So I added the employee document type as Aadhaar. And then let's return back to the employee documents where we need to create the document. So under the employees menu, we can see a menu documents. So at here, we can create the documents for each employee. So currently it is filtered with the employee name. So at here, I already created a document for Joy. That's why it's showing at here. From here, we can create a new document. And this is a form for creating the document management. At here, we can add a number for the document. So I added a number as like as one, two, three. And then from here, we can choose the employee. So I just used the Audrey Peterson. And at here, we can create the document type. And this document type is get from the employee document types under the configuration menu that we have created just before. So I choose the document type that we recently created that is Aadhaar. And if we need to attach the document, we can attach the document from here. And at here, we can choose the issue date. So I just choosing a issue date and then at here we can select the expiry date and I choose the expiry date and at here here it is a notification type that means which helps to get an alert when the when the expiry of this notification is expired the notification type are, are of four types notification on expiry date notification before few days every day till expiry date and notification on and after expiry so based on our need, we can choose whatever the notification type that we needed. So I uh, at here, I just add as notification before few days. And at here, we can add the number of days that we needed, the, the before days that we needed the notification. So randomly, I just cho uh, choose that a day. And at here, we can add the description related to this employee document. And then let's save the record. So at here, for this employee Audrey Peterson, a document is created at here. Likewise, we can create the employee documents and choose their expiry date and then attach that particular document at here. And also, if we need some templates for our document, we can create it here. We can see a new menu document templates after the employees. So at here, we can create, we can add the document name. And then if we have any notes, we can add the note at here and have any attachment, we can add the attachment at here. Likewise, we can also create the document templates. So this module help us to manage the employee documents in your company 
which helps the H human resources department to manage the each and every documents related with an employee. That's all about the feature of employee document management in order 15. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to know more details about OpenHRMS, you can visit openhrms.com.